report from the World Health Organization showed that the latest vaccination tests have failed. But the bureaucrats out of power... But in terms of zoonoses then, so, I mean, I think we you know, have to talk about Ebola again, I think, and what, how often do we see diseases jump species? So the, the cordyceps uh, genus, I believe, infects mostly insects and it you know grows inside them and does all the stuff that we see in the game here. Yeah. But it seems that it's it's jumped from maybe one of those insects into into humans or, 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 or something like that, or, or a branch of evolution. So how often do we see kind of disease leaping from one to another? I think we're certainly seeing a lot more of it in recent years, but you know, a lot of it is could be environmental. It could be that we're just better at detecting it, mm. and that our surveillance systems and technologies improved so that we're able to identify aspects like this a lot faster. Um, obviously, with kind of the reduction in habitat and cutting down a lot of um, like forests, which are normal like kind of habitats and environments for sort of mammals like bats, and you know, bats make up twenty five percent of mammals, and there's lots of kind of research around potential host organisms um, like NEPA, for mm. example, you know, they found that bats were kind of the kind of the animal in which was they were transferring disease to pigs and later to humans. And I think zoonotic episodes, like I said, either are becoming more apparent because we're getting better at detecting mm. them or because we do kind of live in a, an environment now where habitats are becoming a little bit more restricted. So there is that more crossover between animals and humans and I think sort of anywhere where you're going to get large human populations and animal populations together you know the longer period of time that that goes on for the kind of more I don't know about risk but certainly something that needs to be observed and mm. under some surveillance so you know as always it's us that's the problem ultimately by uh, yes, well, Nipah, I suppose, in Bangladesh, is people living closer to bats, and uh, I think they uh, they farm date palm sap yeah. off of trees, and yeah. the bats eat the sap and maybe urinate in, in the sap, and the humans drink yeah. the urine so infected yeah, sap, and uh, yes, yeah, it's dreadful. And you're right, it, were we not there, then it wouldn't happen. Yeah. But uh, I, I think the, uh, the WHO, I believe, has a, a list of diseases on the, uh, you know, they're keeping an eye on. Mm. 